good morning everyone so in this uh, video lecture uh, we will be studying we are going to start from model and uh, more or less uh, so what is a model uh, we will see uh, first let me show you some model i think no, no it is so most secondary windows will be model so just now we have in the previous video we have seen what is a primary uh, window and what is a secondary window so most of the secondary windows are model you can call it as model yeah you can pronounce it so use when interaction with any other window must not be permitted for example we get so many pop-up uh, windows where until and unless we select any one of the choice okay within that pop-up window then you cannot go to any other further states for example file okay uh, uh, file no just one minute yeah file save as uh, close i will just close it yeah file save as see here you cannot you cannot go you cannot either scroll it you cannot do any other task yeah, either you have to cancel it or you have to choose a specific folder where you want to save it so these kind of windows are called as models okay so use when interaction with any other window must not be permitted use for presenting information or you can use it for receiving the user input or you can ask uh, you can use it for asking some specific questions to the users uh, use carefully because it constrains uh, what the user can do because user uh, will get very minimal choices there okay so you have to use it very very carefully uh, so more less means uh, use when interaction with other windows must be permitted okay if it if you are going to use these kind of windows uh, you can call it as modeless one is model and another one is modeless so if you want to use a modeless uh, type of window then use when interaction with other windows must be permitted so that's what we have discussed now um, most uh, secondary windows will be model model windows will not permit interaction with any other window until the current uh, dialog is completed it remains displayed until the appropriate action is taken after which it is removed from the screen okay then what is modeless is modeless dialog box permits the user to engage in parallel dialogues switching between bo the box and its associated windows is permitted so in model until and unless okay you press some button or you perform some action you cannot go to uh, or you cannot switch to any other uh, okay windows however in more less you can perform this so next one is cascading uh, and unfolding i just i think i have shown you what is the meaning of cascading uh, already this is what is called as cascading so okay you can remove this uh, cascading effect also so ca you must be getting bored uh, because we are getting we have to repeat the same information again and again but unfortunately we don't have any other option a cascading window uh, keeps the original window displayed with a dependent window displayed on top an indication that the dialog will be cascading uh, is signaled by an ellipse placed in the command button used to display the additional dialog box i think we are discussing something different okay uh, that cascading is different and this this cascading different sorry i think i got confused uh, so uh, you can see printer secondary window with with the connect cascade button okay so here there is a okay there is a connect button which takes you to some other uh, options so if, if i press connect then further you go to this window okay so you can choose uh, um, different uh, printers here okay or okay local port local port so this is a type of cascading i mean so there is a connection between this window and this window so when you are here if you just click on connect then it, it takes you to here again if there is one more connect here then it takes you so that is called as cascading okay uh, an indication that the dialog the dialog will be cascading is signaled by an ellipse is placed in the command button used to display so you can see here some ellipses so dot 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 
okay so some so it indicates um, it takes you to some other window so what is unfolding unfolding secondary window expands to reveal additional options for example if i click now here so if i click on this you will get some additional information so if i again click it then it goes back so this this kind of approach you can call it as unfolding an unfolding secondary window uh, expands to reveal additional options a form of progressive disclosure unfolding windows sometimes called as expanding windows are generally used to provide advanced options at the same level in a complex dialog so you, you can see here so if i expand it okay then you get all these options so this is called as unfolding printers secondary window then we are going to discuss about dialog boxes used for presenting brief messages so usually dialog boxes why they are called as dialog boxes because a user uh, will have some interaction with that box either he presses uh, ok or cancel or some other button he has to okay uh, so th that is why these are called as dialog boxes used for requesting specific transient actions used for performing actions that take a short time to complete okay usually uh, whatever operations uh, you perform through dialog boxes will take very very short time are not frequently changed so usually uh, most of the dialog boxes will not be changed okay uh, so command buttons uh, to include okay cancel or any other options dialog boxes are always displayed from another window either primary or secondary or any or another dialog box generally uh, you cannot call uh, a primary window as a dialog box okay so if you click something then only a dialog box opens uh, so this is how it is a dialog box of uh, microsoft windows so you can see here there are two options one is save or there is cancel so most windowing systems provide standard dialog boxes for common functions some example being open save as print print uh, some of the uses of uh, dialog boxes are dialog box boxes are used for presenting brief amounts of information or to request specific transient action dialog boxes commonly include ok and cancel buttons then we are going to discuss about property sheets and property inspectors what is uh, this property sheets for example if i want to look the property of something so then i have already shown you some example let me show it again so for example this the property is this so you can see here many options here security details previous so okay and again there are okay cancel so again here further uh, details can be obtained from here so this is uh, these kind of uh, windows you can call it as property windows used for presenting the complete sets, uh, set of properties uh, for an object categorize and group within property pages as necessary so these are some of the recommended sizes for property sheets okay just go to command buttons to include ok cancel apply reset just now we saw property sheet is the most common way to present objects complete set of properties in a secondary window okay so that is what i told I'll just show you it, it it is a secondary window only it cannot be a primary window a property sheet is uh, a modeless secondary uh, window that displays the user accessible properties of an uh, modeless in the sense uh, for example okay now i can sh i can click look here i can do any i can perform one more op operation so that is why it is called as modeless okay uh, i hope you are understanding me then um, um, property pages because there can be many properties for an object and the objects contest the categorization and grouping of properties within sets may be necessary yeah that is I just now we saw there are many ca properties of uh, for example yeah network properties i think it takes some time to open uh, yeah there are different properties uh, you can see here okay i think we will open some chrome's properties we will see yeah see there are security options there are shortcut there are previous versions so these kind of different op operations they have categorized then um, the size the sizes are recommend just now we saw 
then command buttons uh, property sheets typically allow the values of pro for a property to be changed then apply so you change uh, suppose uh, for example if this is a property sheet then you change the date then either say okay or cancel this is another uh, property uh, sheet you can change the font size okay you can font style you can change so again then uh, property inspectors basically these are used for displaying only the most common or frequently accessed property object properties i mean there may be hundreds of properties but uh, uh, these property inspectors are basically used to only very very commonly used uh, properties okay so a palette window i'll show you what is a palette window here where it, yeah this is a palette window i just now so okay in in uh, what is that paint i will show you what is a palette uh, looks like okay yeah this is a palette window you can see there are many color options uh, you can change the size of a brush or line so this is basically a property uh, what is a palette window this is this i think yeah a palette window or a toolbar is used to create a property inspector okay then uh, i think we will stop here in the next video we'll start with message boxes thank you